beautiful, maybe not associated with spacesuits, sorry. <laughs> latex uh, is more famous for making women's bras. But these seamstresses were so skilled, they were the ones entrusted to make the very first suits to be on the move. So that's quite a jump going from bras to spacesuits. The only ones skilled enough to do it. Now this required putting lots and lots of layers together by hand and getting it accurate within a minuscule of a millimetre. Okay? One of these layers was called the bladder layer. You'll be happy to know it's nothing to do with going for a wing. But it did have a very important purpose. So what I want to know is what does the bladder layer protect you from in space? Is it space radiation, an alien attack, the extremely low temperatures that we have in space, or the lack of pressure? The low, te oh, low, te no. low temperatures. Well, I'll give think. you a clue. Think. This is the thing that would kill you first in space if you didn't have it. So who thinks it's the space radiation is protection from? No. Yeah, for you for that. What about an alien attack? I guess. Oh, <laughs> man. Quite a lot of people. That's surprising. Okay. Who thinks it's the extremely low temperatures that we have yeah, in space? Yeah, I think that. Yeah, you I might be wrong. Oh, alien attack. attack. I might be wrong, but it might be right. Okay, it might be right. Yeah, right. Alien attack. Did I love alien attack. Did you get it right? The answer oh. is... Oh. Oh. Real close. Yeah, right. You thought it might be that one. In space, we one don't have two. pressure, which means if you're not going to I didn't protected, manage to get it right. That's alright. Yeah. Neither did I. Your skin's a very good seal, so you wouldn't pop like a bird. Let's confuse. Your insides would begin to pop. So your lungs are oh, come out your mouth, probably not your teeth out as well. More good news, you'd have blacked out a long time before that, uh, So you won't uh, experience it first time. I didn't know what's happening though. And a lot of spacesuits are only about three layers thick. To show you this, we have our friend Svet here, uh, who is a dummy. I mean, don't mean that derogative, he literally is just a man. Uh, so this has three layers in it. This is technically an old Soviet fighter pilot suit, but it's still the exact same stuff in here that they use for astronaut suits today. So this is effectively our bladder layer at the bottom. This helps you keep your pressure. It's like a corset onesie on the bottom, is the best way to describe it. And it goes the whole way around you, no holes or anything, and then you put it up very, very tight with laces, like you would with your, with your shoes or a corset. Then we have a rubber back layer. This is where you keep all your oxygen in, so the astronauts climb in through here, uh, and basically they begin to zigzag it. So I'm trying to do one pattern, which is tricky. But you begin to zigzag it, kind of like that, a lot neater, obviously, they'd be doing it, their lives are alive. Eventually, though, you get the picture, it all gets scrunched up, and that keeps the supply of oxygen in there, and then your bottom layer, sorry, your top layer, rather, this is a bright orange waterproof layer. Of course, if you land in the middle of the sea, in the middle of the night, people are looking for you, an orange suit becomes very, very popular. Oh, and if you want to know what keeps this rubber bag layer together, what the really, really important high-tech piece of material which saves your life, it is this rubber band. Oh! And yes, they still use this today. 